Welcome, basketball fans, to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. A Sunday broadcast of the NBA. It's going to be Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder up against DeMar DeRozan and the Toronto Raptors. And with the opening tip on the way, let's head out to Toronto and join our broadcasting team of Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and Steve Kerr. It's a road game for the Thunder, and they're facing an interconference matchup in today's game. Welcome to the Air Canada Center, home of the Toronto Raptors, and a great venue for basketball. Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports, alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. I'm Kevin Hart. Here are your starting lineups, brought to you by State Farm. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, Kevin Durant. And one thing that Durant has made very clear in his young career is that he's going to be a factor in clutch situations. He wants the ball in his hands with the game on the line. You know, he's got that lean, thin body and looks a little wispy and carefree out there. But underneath that jersey beats the heart and edge of, I think, a killer in terms of putting the ball in the back. Well, one thing that you can't say is that the Thunder's rise to the top caught anyone by surprise. In the annual GM survey before the season started, more than two-thirds of the general managers in the league picked Oklahoma City to win the West. Now here is Lowry. He feeds it to DeRozan. And out of bounds is the Thunder gain possession. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds. Here's Westbrook. Westbrook gets a screen from Perkins. And Westbrook, here we go, blocked. DeRozan against Westbrook. The offensive rebound. And Durant sends it back. Oh! Are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right there. Could see that dunk coming a mile away. Anytime he gets in that close to the bucket, it's all over. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. And it's the Raptors ball. And you look at the roster they have, and Steve, you kind of alluded to it around the league. They were garnering great success. The stars like Westbrook and Durant. So much youth, it's no wonder all those GMs, Clark, that uh, Steve was just talking about, picked Oklahoma City. And the scary thing is that they'll keep getting picked over and over again. I mean, they have a lot of depth and a lot of skill, and I just see them getting better and better each season. Free throw drops for Lowry. You know, I thought Toronto made a bold move drafting Valenciunas last year because they knew he wouldn't be able to come over and play for a full season. But that could turn into one of the turning points for this franchise because he has a chance to be an excellent player. And between he and Bargnani, this is a club that uh, could turn it around pretty quickly now. And good on the basket. Book it. Man, he makes a lot of tremendous plays at that end of the court. We see it from him every game. We'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Dwayne Casey. What's the news, Doris? He knows one of the hardest parts on scoring against this defense has to do with their prolific shot blocker, Serge Ibaka. He told me he's one of those guys who can get in your head a little bit because he's so mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebounding and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X-factor for them. Back to you. Thanks again, Doris. I remember teams were reluctant to wait on Valenciennes to come over, but the Raptors, Clark, as I go back down the memory bank, seem to see the long-term benefit of taking him, and it's paid off. And more importantly, he feels a need. I mean, they need that strong inside presence, and he'll give it to them with time, as Steve said. This could be a turning point for the franchise, in my opinion. Here's Lowry, following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Here's Gray, lifts up. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. 
I'm not sure if any play is going to top that one. Maybe the only play that could beat it is another alley-oop jam. Yep. Even then, it'd be hard to execute it any better than that one. Kevin Durant is one of those guys we would call just a basketball junkie. Can't get enough of the game. You remember during the lockout, he made a name for himself in all those street ball tournaments and the Pro-Am game. Fun for him and a great way to really embrace the fans, and he put on a show everywhere he went. Seems like he went up against LeBron a couple times I in some of those venues. I think they did go head to head. Here is Durant. The Raptors getting the bucket. No luck. Now Toronto takes it the other way. The drive by Lowry. A leaner gets the bucket. Oh, oh he's got his second bucket tonight. Going back to Durant staying active and connecting with his fans that summer, he dropped in on a college flag football game, I recall, Steve, in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Yeah, how cool would that be to be a, an intramural quarterback and you get to throw the ball up top to Kevin Durant with those long arms? That's a pretty easy throw to make. I'm sure they'd like to get more shots like that one. The Thunder have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. A new group in now for the Raptors. Amir Johnson's checked in for Gray. Davis comes in for Bargnani. Clazes checked in for Landry Fields. And it's Calderon in for Kyle Lowry. There's 117 left here in the opening quarter. Here's Collison. Buries it down low. Now, here's Calderon. You know, one of the things you have to do when you're trying to turn a franchise around, like the Raptors are, uh, you have to control your home floor. And the team made some improvements a year ago, especially defensively under Dwayne Casey. But they still have not been able to be consistent winners in Toronto, and that's the next step for them. And so here is Oklahoma City following the miss by DeRozan. Maynard issues to Hart. Jones up top to the paint. Collison, Oklahoma City moving it around. And there's Eric Maynard on the assist by Harden. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. Calderon throws up the alley-oop trying to go for an alley-oop but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it difficult to explain that turnover I mean, I guess he thought he had more room than he did but he really lost his place on the court Bargnani inside. He's against Collison. Feeds the Fields. Bargnani sets the screen for Fields. The tray. No good. Here's Durant. No good. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Thunder lead by three. We'll be back shortly live from the Air Canada Center in downtown Toronto. It's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. It's the Thunder up three. Well, the thing they tried to establish right away was the presence down low. You look at the points in the paint. I think that's been the difference. Yeah, and I like the fact, Steve, that they're not settling for the outside shots. I mean, go in there and get what you want. Keep attacking the rim. So for Oklahoma City right now, it's Westbrook at the one with Harden and Durant flanking him at the two and three. Pocket is out there with Nick Collison. Now, here is Lowry. He kicks to Clayson. Fires at the elbow. And he knocks down the jumper. Clayson's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Raptors. 
Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, the Thunder's James Harden, arguably the best NBA player ever to come out of Arizona State. He actually had his pick of some much bigger programs in college, but he said, I didn't want to go to a high-powered school. I wanted to blaze my own trail, start something, and have my name in the rafters. I wanted to make a name for myself, put a program on the map. It was a perfect decision for me. I got to learn a lot, like how to carry a team by myself. My leadership grew in my two years when I was there. Kevin, it's interesting that he's been so willing to go the polar opposite in Oklahoma City, come to a team stacked with talent, and sacrifice some of that responsibility to really carry the team. Well, it seems he can do both those. His role is steadily growing, too. You know, last season, I think DeMar DeRozan was disappointing for the Raptors. He had had such a good rookie year. They were expecting great things from him, but he struggled with his shooting, and he turned the ball over at an alarming rate. So he needs to get his game back on track. Stolen by Harden. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Harden left side. Gives him the lead pass. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Pass to DeRozan. Gets it to go. And DeMar DeRozan, the ninth pick overall back in the 2009 draft. Certainly some expectations, Clark, with being such a high pick. Yeah, and I don't think he's disappointed. Always athletic. The goal for him is to continue to grow as a basketball player, to hone in on that athleticism and produce consistently at both ends. And I think he's headed in that direction. Harden can't hit. Raptors with the lead. And it's Lowry penetrating. Rejected by Westbrook. They get the rebound. And another shot. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Harden gets a scream from Ibaka. Harden with it. Lowry picks him up. Knocks it loose. Five on the clock. Here's Westbrook. Hits from the high post. Westbrook's got six points. The Thunder head coach Scott Brooks had some pretty good days in his NBA career. Actually went undrafted out of UC Irvine, uh, but ended up playing in the CBA and then played eight or nine years in the NBA. Ended up uh, winning a title with Houston in 1994. And some changes here for the Raptors. Arnani has checked in for Davis. Johnson comes in for Landry Fields. And it's Calderon in for Kyle Lowry. The Raptors have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. And DeRozan kicks to Calderon. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded closer. And the pass to Bargnani. Back to Calderon. From the arc. That's good. And the Raptors lead by three. Well, you mentioned Coach Brooks and his background as a point guard. You see a lot of former point guards, I think, Steve, becoming head coach. Yeah, that's true, Kevin. You think about uh, the guys who have had to lead teams as point guards. It's a natural transition for them to go into coaching. They're used to directing traffic. They're used to kind of figuring things out during a game. So they have to think their way uh, through a contest. So, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense that point guards uh, sometimes make good coaches. Addition out to Clayson. Mar DeRozan on the wing. Over Cook. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Clayza. Thunder trailing by three. Here's Maynard. He dishes it to Perkins. Cephalosia kicks to Jones. Over Johnson. Jones, no luck. You know, as tight as this game is, you have to like their chances the way they've been rebounding. They have a pretty good margin in that department, so they've got to continue to hit the boards hard. It'll pay off for them in the end. Maynard the pass to Cephalosha. And there's the feed to Cook. Kicks to Jones. Passes to Cephalosha. Rebound by the Raptors. Calderon dishes to DeRozan. Calderon sets a screen for DeRozan. Johnson's shot is off. 
From mid-court, shot is off. Second quarter ends in a tight one. The Raptors out in front, leading by three. Stay right where you are for the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. We'll see you in just a bit for the start of the second half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. You've got it on 2K Sports. Let's look at what went on in the first half. We've seen the Raptors slugging it out. Great energy and aggression offensively, making their own luck with a lot of second chance points. Their leading scorer is Kyle Lowry. He's picked up five points and also helped out with two rebounds. And for the Thunder, it's been all hustle. They've held tough defensively. Great rim protection, too, when you look at all the blocks. Russell Westbrook's been doing his thing. He's got six points and is also sharing the ball, picking up assists as well. And that does it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for joining me. And now, back out to Kevin and the gang. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. It's been a great game tonight for Westbrook. He's got six points, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. Well, that's important, Clark. I mean, he's conscious of the fact that moving the ball around gets the defense uh, to move. It forces them to work, and it creates a better offensive flow for his own team. Their backcourt is Lowry and DeRozan. Kevin Bray out Durant. there with Bargnani, and it's Fields in at the small forward. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. You can tell a lot about a team by how it handles its business on the road. Typically, that's a good barometer of what kind of success a team is going to have, what they get done on the road. The Thunder showed last year they were going to be right in the mix with their road play. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Guys, before Dwayne Casey took over as head coach of the Raptors, he worked as an assistant on that NBA champion Dallas Mavericks squad. He was largely responsible for implementing a lot of their very effective zone defenses. Asked whether we could expect to see more zone from the Raptors, Casey said, you've got to be a good man-to-man -man team in the NBA before you start putting in the zone. I didn't want to distort that idea and say, hey, we can play zone if things don't work out. Our rock has to be our man-to-man. Man. Guys, Casey doesn't want any shortcuts defensively. Well, at this level, sometimes that zone's not going to work for us. They've got to be solid in man. Yeah, the Thunder finished 21 and 12 on the road last season for a team so good at home to be able to win on the road like they did. Steve, I thought that was incredibly impressive. Well, to be an elite team in the NBA, Kevin, you have to win on the road. You've got to control your home court and then be able to go out and grind out wins away from home. And that's exactly what Oklahoma City has established the last couple of seasons. That would be four in a row for them now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Toronto calls timeout. By any measure, it was not a memorable season for the Raptors last season. But they can take away that they held their own against the West, Kevin. Eight and ten against the Western Conference. Yeah. The Raptors making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Nick Collison's checked in for the Thunder. Harden comes in for Cephalosha. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Lowry kicks to DeRozan. Over Harden. And the Raptors miss again. Eight and ten, like you talked about, Clark, might not sound like much, but it is better than a lot of the teams, Steve, in the East who made the playoffs. Kind of a surprising number, really, when you think about you know, how strong the Western Conference was and what a poor season Toronto had. Eight and ten sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Durant... That's good on the jump shot. And it's a five-point Thunder lead. I'm waiting for the fire alarm to go off the way they've come out blazing in the second half. That's five straight makes. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Shots good from Bargnani. You know what makes it difficult to guard Bargnani is that he's seven feet tall, but he's got shooting range out to about 25 feet. So the big man on the defense has to stay out with him on the perimeter, and that really opens up the floor for anything you want to do offensively. It sure does open up the floor, Steve, and he can get into a rhythm, too. If he gets a, a few good looks at the hoop and is feeling it, he'll get hot real quickly with his size and 
in shooting touch there, it isn't much you can do to stop him. Well, for Russell Westbrook last year, a career high in field goal percentage and points per game. Just a devastating score, getting even better. And he can score in so many different ways. Transition, he can knock down the jumper, and he's a terrific offensive rebounder. Now, here is Harden. Five-point lead, the biggest of the game. That's good. Harden's got his first basket of the night. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Lowry drives in. Johnson stolen by Durant. 103 left in the third. Harden the pass to Ibaka. Durant against Johnson. Westbrook kicks to Harden. Deflects the pass, and Ibaka slams it in. This has been an offensive explosion, guys. They are on fire. How about a volcanic eruption, a flash fire? And defensively, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. They just hope that they cool off at some point. And you mentioned how well Westbrook scored last season. His assist did dip quite a bit. But that wasn't just him. That was along with the team as a whole. The Thunder near the bottom of the league in assists because they've got great individual scores. They are able to get points without a lot of ball movement. Once they incorporate the ball movement and the sharing of the ball with those explosive scores, then I think you're going to have something special. Man, offensive execution has been the story here. Just playing beautiful basketball. Oh, and guys, you can see it in their advantage in field goal percentage. I mean, you get high quality shots, you're usually going to shoot well. They're playing outstanding basketball. Oh. Now, here is Lowry. He's got five. Oh. And just miss after miss right now. Here's Harden. No good trying to beat the buzzer. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Thunder lead by 11. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? And Kevin, for that great stretch the Thunder put together, they get the Uncontainable Game Award. They finish the third quarter in a strong way with that impressive run. It might just be the ticket to victory. Doris, thank you. And what a concerted effort they put together tonight. And you know, that was really the uncontainable aspect in this game, Kevin. And they got on the same page as a team and pretty much did what they wanted for the entire stretch. Well, clearly it's a different game without that scoring run. That was a game-changing run, no doubt. Toronto with the ball. They trail by 11. So with Westbrook on the bench, this is who Scott Brooks has out there. Cephalosha is out there with Durant. Then it's Maynard. Then it's Harden. And it's Perkins in at the center. <laughs> Offensive rebound. It's Fields on the wing, guarded by Harden. Gray dishes to Davis. And stolen by Perkins. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Cephalos is running. The rebound by Fields. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Now, here's Calderon. Davis with the bucket. And Davis! Davis has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Raptors. Good job creating an easy bucket there. Harden kicks to Cephalosha. Dishes it to Maynard. He feeds it to Perkins. He passes to Maynard. Feeds to Harden. Clock at four. It's over Fields. Harden can't hit. Raptors trail by nine. Calderon up top. He kicks it to Clayson. Over Durant. Money from the wing. Well, I don't think that was the shot they had in mind, but they'll take it. Davis is up. Fades and shoots. That's good. And that's 10 points for Kevin Durant. 
Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. And the Raptors call time here. Well, with such a young core, and showing that they can be a, a team that can hold their own in the tough Western Conference, it's possible we could be looking at a decade-long run here with the Thunder, where they win multiple conference championships and maybe NBA titles as well. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, Dwayne Casey was just going over the plan with his team. He was not happy with their play to this point, telling them we're getting out hustled, plain and simple. There's still time, but we've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Thanks, Doris. See, that's a good thought. You certainly have to think so, the way they are dominating their division and the rest of the West the past few years. Clark, what a solid young core they have to go with. Yeah, they're fantastic, Kevin. Such a young team. They've been knocking on the door for a championship the last couple of years, and they should be a contender as long as they can keep this core together and stay healthy. Here's Lowry. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Pass to DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard. He would not be denied on that one, no matter what the defender threw at him. Yeah, he needed just a little more effort to make that stop. I don't know. I don't think any amount of effort would have done it. I mean, that guy was flying to the hoop. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Perkins with a screen on fields. Here's Durant. Locking foul. Ball on. And so here is Oklahoma City. Outside Westbrook. Shot clock at five. There's the pass to Durant. Launches it. Again, Durant missing. Raptors trail by five. Guys, we've seen some excellent offense about them. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Big time is right, Clark. A lot of momentum here offensively. The Thunder have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Harden the pass to Durant. It's over Fields. Hits the target from 18 feet. That's 12 points for Kevin Durant. You know, we saw him struggle with his shot in the first half. But here in the second, he's managed to turn it around and be much more efficient. Toronto calls timeout. They're losing by seven. 146 left in the fourth. One forty-six left to play here in the fourth. And out of bounds is the Thunder gain possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. One forty-four left to play in the final quarter. Harden with it. Harden gets a screen from Perkins. The dish to Durant. Back to Harden. Shot clock at six. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got his third rebound on the night. He hasn't been one of their key guys tonight, but uh, they are still winning despite his lack of production. Offline from the top of the key. Well, unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. Harden dishes to Westbrook. over fields blocked and that's going to be tough here Clark you know I agree with you Steve I mean they need some big plays to steal this one. Bargnani. Bargnani it falls oh and that cuts the lead to just five see the way he attacked the smaller defender there that's what I call know-how he knows how to use his size 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one Durant for three, gets it to go. And the Thunder lead by eight. 
just cruising to the finish line. Yeah, and barring something catastrophic happening, um, it looks like they'll go home with a nice victory here. Now, here is Bargnani. He trains the quick Andrea shot. Bargnani. 24 seconds left foul. in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally Aaron foul. Gray. Aaron Gray, he's checked in for Amir Johnson. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Foul. And he commits the intentional two foul. Two Russell Westbrook taking two shots. the first that makes it a seven point lead a new group in now for the Raptors Ed Davis has checked in for Bargnani Linus Klaza comes in for Landry Fields Ross is checked in for DeMar DeRozan and it's Calderon in for Kyle Lowry and a new group in here for the Thunder Nick Collison's checked in for Perkins Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka Daquan Cooks checked in for Kevin Durant and it's Maynard in for James Harden and the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by eight. There's 21 seconds left in the game. And the Thunder making a switch here. Cephalosius checked in. He dishes it to Klaza. Back to Calderon. There's the feed to Klaza. Kicks to Calderon. Klaza passes it to Calderon. Over Maynard. And Jones pulls it down. Now Maynard. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. Give me that beat, fool, it's a full-time jack move. Don't worry, Skano, I'll get it back soon. Just have a little fun. What's up? That's not the collection. Black album coming soon. Just gonna vent a little bit. Have a little fun with it. Yes. Yes. Ain't nobody dumping on hold. You ain't in sanitation or sanitarium.